Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kirsten Sanchez. I am one of the business development directors for Carnival Cruise Line, and I'm so excited to have you join me today. Today, I'm joined by a very special guest, Senor Mandana. Hola. He's kind of a quiet guy, but he really is a straight A apple and knows his stuff when it comes to Carnival's vacation protection. So today we have the envy of the entire Carnival sales team of talking to you about Carnival's vacation protection plan, or as I like to call it, Carnival's expect the unexpected plan. Ooh, pinatas, am I right? You gotta watch out for them. So today, as expected, I do have an agenda. So our agenda for today is, first of all, why would you sell Carnival's vacation protection? Secondly, what is it? Thirdly, what's covered? What's the cost of it? How do you enroll in it? And how do you actually use it when you need to? So we'll be going through each of these topics individually. But first of all, let's talk about why you would want to sell Carnival's vacation protection. So why sell it? Really, it's peace of mind for both you and your client. This is an investment. Um, you want to protect your client's investment. And look, nobody likes buying insurance. I don't like having homeowner's insurance. I don't like having car insurance. I don't like having to have medical insurance. But when it comes time to use it, I sure am glad that I have it. So you want that same peace of mind for both you and your client in case something happens. Because again, you want to expect the unexpected. Nobody ever expects anything bad to happen. But when it does, you want to know that you've got something there to cover you. Also, the nice thing with Carnival's vacation protection is it's one and done. So when you are making your booking, you basically just add it on and it's part of the cruise package that you present to your client. So you don't have to shop around for additional coverage or vacation protection for them. It's also commissionable at 10%. So this is an additional way to supplement your commission and maybe make a little additional money as well. Also, Carnival's vacation protection, if they cancel for a covered reason, there is 100% cash reimbursement for any penalties that we have charged. Now, if they want to cancel for any reason, and this is something unique to our vacation protection, if they want to cancel for any reason, they're having a bad hair day, they don't like the bathing suit that they bought, their boyfriend, they're having a fight with them, they can cancel for any reason, and they can get 75% of whatever their penalties are as a future cruise credit. So really, it is a great way to protect their investment. Um, so that's in advance. Now, while they're traveling, certainly they're going to have coverage for any medical expenses they may have either shipboard or in the country. They'll also have coverage for routine things that happen because nobody's ever heard of luggage being lost, right? So if their baggage gets lost or damaged or delayed, there is money to, um, to cover that as well. And then in addition, they also have 24-hour worldwide assistance to help with any emergencies, such as lost passports, if they've lost their prescription, all the way up to emergency and medical evacuations. So let's talk a little bit more specifically about what is it. So Carnival's Vacation Protection. So basically, it is a comprehensive package of both insurance and non-insurance benefits that are provided through three different programs. So it's administered by Aon Affinity. And I do want to note that there is just so much regulation and oversight in the insurance industry. Um, when we refer to it, we don't refer to it as travel insurance. We refer to it as Carnival's vacation protection. And I would recommend that you do the same, really because it's a combination of both insurance and non-insurance benefits. So please refer to it as Carnival's vacation protection um, program. The other thing I want you to know is we're going through this. I don't want any of you to be insurance experts. You know, that's not really the goal. I want you to have a very high level overview of what the plan includes, but by no means are you a, an insurance expert. So please just know what the plan includes, but you don't need to know the specifics and all the nitty gritties because it is a very complicated product. But essentially Carnival's Vacation Protection Program includes three parts. First, the cancellation fee waiver program. This is an advance. So this is a non-insurance feature. It is provided by Carnival Cruise Line and administered by Aon Affinity. So this is if they have to cancel in advance. So remember I was saying they can get up to 100% cash back for covered reasons or 75% back as a future cruise credit um, for non-covered reasons. That's in advance. 
The second part of it is the travel insurance benefits. And this is underwritten by Nationwide Mutual Insurance Company. So this is their coverage while they're traveling. And we'll talk a little more in detail about the different components of the travel insurance benefits. And then the third component here is worldwide emergency assistance. So this is provided by On Call International. This is a 24 seven hotline, again, that helps with everything from lost passports to um, missing prescriptions to lost bags to, um, to finding a medical provider in a foreign country. So lots of great benefits here. And again, as I mentioned, insurance is a very complicated um, product. So if you do want a little more information, you can always go to affinitytravelcert.com and look state by state on the specific travel protection or vacation protection information. So let's talk a little more in detail about each of those components here. And again, we'll go through these in a little more detail as we go on. But the first part was that cancellation fee waiver program. So this is provided by Carnival. So this is trip cancellation. So if they have to cancel their trip, and this would include the cruise fare plus airfare booked through Carnival, anything that is part of the vacation protection book, or excuse me, the vacation package booked through Carnival. If they cancel for a qualified reason, they would get a cash refund up to the total cost of their cruise vacation cost. Now, trip interruption. This is if they are traveling and they're missing more than 50% of their cruise vacation, um, then again, they would be reimbursed up to the total cost of their cruise vacation. So again, if their air is booked through Carnival, cruise and air would be covered here. And then the last part of the cancellation fee waiver program is the cancel for any reason. So that's the 75% future cruise credit of whatever penalties are imposed by Carnival. So that's the first part of it. The second part of it is actually while they're traveling. So Carnival's travel insurance program, again, underwritten by Nationwide Mutual Insurance Company. So this is if they have to cancel their trip and they book their air independently. So again, if it's a covered reason and they booked independent air, um, they could get that covered up to the total cost of their original airfare. Same thing if they're traveling and they miss more than 50% of their cruise vacation and they booked independent air, they can get up to the total original cost of their airfare. If they have a delay, like they're trying to get to the ship, we'll cover up to $500 per guest. Um, while they're on board and while they're traveling, if they need medical assistance, we'll cover up to $10,000 per guest. If there's a need for emergency evacuation or repatriation, that's up to $30,000 per guest. And then again, for bags, lost bags, damaged bags, or just baggage delay, up to $1,500 per guest for lost bags and up to $500 per guest for a baggage delay. And then the third component, and I know we've talked a little bit more in depth about this already, but the third part is that carefree worldwide emergency assistance. So there's three different lines, one really on their way to the ship. Secondly, if they need medical assistance while they're in a foreign country or on board our ship, and then the emergency services if they had to be um, uh, emergency evacuated or any repatriation. So those are the three main components. Let's talk a little more in depth about each of them because I know you have lots of questions Again, remember, you're not supposed to be insurance agents, just know a very high level detail of what the plan includes. So let's talk about trip cancellation and trip interruption. This is either before your cruise, you're not able to, to go and you have to cancel in advance and incur penalties, or you're on your way to the ship and you run into some sort of interruption and you're not able to get to your cruise. So eligible reasons for canceling and getting that 100% cash refund of all of your cruise vacation, would be medical, so that would be any illness, injury, or death, um, and we'll talk a little more about that in just a moment here, but that would be for you, your traveling companions, and then immediate family back home, and then non-medical reasons for canceling and um, qualifying for the, the refund would be non-medical things like losing your job. That's a fairly new feature that is added to the plan, so if you lose your job and you submit documentation, you can get a cash refund up to the total cost of your cruise vacation, if you have severe weather in your area, if you have severe weather on, in the path of getting to the cruise ship and you have to cancel, this is not there's a hurricane out there in the Caribbean somewhere and you just don't want to go. This is if there is severe weather preventing you from getting to the ship, that would be a covered reason. Now it's not just it's raining cats and dogs. Poor little yellow duckies. It is actually would be some type of severe weather warning or watch as issued by NOAA. A couple other features that are non-medical that would be covered as well would be jury duty if you were subpoenaed. 
if you were in a traffic accident on the way to the departure, um, if you have a military service, if there was a national emergency, a natural disaster, and you had to be called away like the National Guard, um, if for some reason there was a natural disaster at your home, or if just some sort of weather delay like with the plane causes you to miss more than 50% of your cruise. So those would all be reasons that you could get up to 100% cash refund for the cost of your, your cruise vacation, including the airfare. And if you had some unused airfare that was booked independently, that would be covered as well. One very, very important feature of this that I do want to point out to all of you is that um, the trip cancellation and interruption would cover the single supplement charge. So many of you know that if you are traveling as a single, it's 200% of the cruise fare. So if your traveling companion had to cancel and you um, became a single in the room, then the trip cancellation, the, this would cover your single supplement charge. So I think that is hugely important as well. So let's talk a little more in depth. I mentioned this or touched on it briefly, but whose medical condition can you cancel for or have a trip interruption for? So obviously the insured gets. So if you become sick, injured or ill or hospitalized, then you would qualify any of your traveling companions and any immediate family of either the insured guest or the traveling companion. And now that would include spouses, domestic partners, parents, children, grandparents, siblings, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, cousins. So that's all defined as immediate family. And if any of those people have illness, injury, or death, then they would qualify to cancel with that 100% um, um, cash reimbursement. Now, as with anything, there are pre-existing condition exclusions. So we're talking about an exclusion. An exclusion is really any type of provision that excludes coverage for certain situations. So the most common one, the one we talk about most of the time, is going to be a pre-existing medical condition. So with this plan, with Carnival's Vacation Protection, um, you do have to purchase, you, um, it does exclude any illnesses that are pre-existing or that worsen during the 60 days prior to purchasing the vacation protection. So if you um, purchase it and everything has been stable the 60 days prior and then something presents itself, that would be a different scenario. But any illness that presents itself or gets worse during the 60 days prior to purchasing the vacation protection. So we would look at things like if you received um, a recommendation for a diagnostic test and examination, if you were hospitalized, if it was a change in your condition that prompted a change in your prescription, that would also exclude you as well. Um, so again, it must be your situation or your condition must be stable and controlled during the 60 day period prior to purchasing the vacation protection. Now, please keep in mind, this is talking about when you are canceling in advance, that that's what would exclude you if you had a pre-existing condition. If you are on the ship and you have to have a medical evacuation or you know, unfortunately a repatriation, um, this exclusion would not apply. And please keep in mind, this only applies to the guests that are traveling. This is not for family members back home. Remember all those family members that I mentioned that qualify, the people like your, your spouses or your kids or your parents or your grandparents, your nieces, nephews, uncles and cousins and aunts, you know, those people back home, the pre-existing exclusion is not in play. It's really only for the traveler. And again, please don't try to speculate and know every single scenario. If you need more information, we always recommend reach out to Aon Affinity for any questions on pre-existing conditions because, um, again, we're not the experts and they're actually the ones that would be handling those details and make the final decision. So let's talk about a few other exclusions. I'm not going to dwell too much on this, but um, there are a few other situations where you would not get the cancellation fee and the cash refund. And those are mainly, let's see, the pre-existing condition. I think we've talked about that quite a bit, right? Um, also, any condition that's related to alcohol and drug abuse, if you just can't get away from work or school, you know, that would not be covered if there was, if you're called away for the, um, for deployment in the military, that would not be covered, but I will tell you, we do have um, a special way to handle any type of situations for people that are being deployed or have orders that prevent them from cruising so they can get a future cruise credit already. But if you're jailed, you're not allowed to go. Um, some really fun reasons on why you would be excluded. 
but because these would not qualify for the cash refund, all of these would actually qualify for the 75% future cruise credit um, for the unqualified to cancel for any reason, except the service in the armed forces. If you do have deployment papers or service orders, we'll give you 100% future cruise credit. Really has nothing to do with the vacation protection. So I did want to qualify that. All right, so I, I think we've kind of talked about this, but let's talk a little more. I touched on it, all of those previous reasons. So whether you got a business obligation, if you've got a meeting you just can't get out of, or school, or again, you just don't like how your hair looks, or you know, you you don't you couldn't find the right evening gown, you can cancel for any reason. Now you're not eligible for the cash refund, um, but we will give you 75% of the penalties that are assessed to your booking as a future cruise credit. So when we're talking about the future cruise credits, that's everything that is packaged through Carnival. So the cruise, air, any transfers, anything additional you may have on there. That future cruise credit though does not include any independent air. Um, one thing that is very, very important to know is that you must, cancel, you must purchase the vacation protection prior to final payment for that cancel for any reason to come in play. So if you purchase the vacation protection after final payment, then the cancel for any reason is not valid. So you always wanna make sure that they're purchasing in advance. And then finally, you know, um, really no shows and people who are denied boarding for whatever reason, they're not eligible for the cancel for any reason either. Um, we do want to, you to let us know if you have to cancel as soon as possible so we can go ahead and cancel your booking and you don't run into a no show situation. And again, if it's not an eligible reason, I think we've kind of talked this one ad nauseum, but the cancel for any reason, you'll get 75% um, future cruise credit for whatever penalties are assessed. Let's talk a little bit about trip delay here. So this is going to be something that is going to delay you getting to the port or getting to your ship. So that could be anything from adverse weather. Remember we talked about if there is a bad storm in the area as issued by NOAA, um, any type of um, common carrier delays, these would be your airplane delays because nobody's ever been delayed by air, right? Yeah. If you have a bad accident on the way getting to the port that prevents you from getting there, if you've lost your passport, you've lost your money, there's a couple other really terrible things listed here too, you know, hijacking, quarantine, civil disorder, um, those would all qualify for trip delay. Now, the one thing I want you all to keep in mind is this is going to be where they have to, they have to submit and get reimbursed for those charges. So the important thing to know is if there is a trip delay, document, 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 and keep all the receipts. So if there's bad weather in the area, maybe print out something from NOAA. If your flight is delayed, have something showing that your flight has been delayed, maybe even just a screenshot. Um, if you're buying meals or staying in a hotel, keep all of those receipts. So under the trip delay, guests would be um, eligible for a new one-way economy ticket to either catch up with the ship or return home. Um, we would also be able to refund any unused prepaid arrangements that they had, like pre-hotels, that were in advance for the cruise, any meals, accommodations, telephone calls. But again, they need to keep their receipts and submit it. And the reimbursement is up to $500 per guest. Let's talk about baggage protection because I do think this is probably one of the most common situations that your guests will run into. Let's hope they don't run into any of those other terrible illness, injury, or death type of situations. Um, but bags, things happen to bags. So if the bag is lost, damaged, stolen, um, they will qualify for up to $1,500 per guest for any lost, stolen, or damaged baggage. Now, if the bag is delayed getting to them, because I hear of all these situations where the guests went to Miami and the bag went to Santa Fe, and it takes a couple of days for the bag to catch up with them. So if they have to buy some personal effects like your toiletries and your basics, we'll cover up to $500 per guest for that. And again, this is where they would have to submit those receipts and get reimbursed. Please keep in mind that the baggage coverage is secondary, that the guests must first file with whoever the responsible party is. So whether that is the airline, the hotel, the cruise line, whomever it is, they must file a um, they must file for reimbursement first with the primary company. And then they also need to check with their homeowner's insurance policy as well if they have that coverage, because the baggage co coverage is secondary, but it is something additional to help cover them. 
Accident and sickness. So this would cover if they got sick while they were traveling and they had to have service or hospitalized while either on the ship or in one of our ports of call. The medical services will co be covered up to $10,000 per guest. Again, this is another one where you must pay first and then file for reimbursement. The one thing I do want you to keep in mind, medical protection is secondary to any personal medical insurance that you have. So you would want the guest to first file first with their primary insurer and then file with Aon Affinity. So again, it's just a second level of protection that they would have for any um, accident or sickness um, issues that they may have while they're traveling. And then this one. Now, to me, this one is the one of the biggest reasons why you would want to have vacation protection. This is if you are sick and you have to be emergency evacuated off of the ship. This is if you have to be airlifted. Um, and you know, nobody ever thinks it's going to happen, but I would especially sell this to your older clients, to maybe folks who aren't in great health, even people who are in good health, because you never know what's going to happen. Somebody could have a heart attack. Somebody could have a stroke. Somebody could have an accident that's life-threatening and they have to be airlifted off of the ship. And let me tell you, the cost of it is anywhere from twenty dollars to $30,000, and that needs to be paid up front before those services are rendering. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't have an extra $30,000 laying around the house here just to throw away. So if you do have our vacation protection, the vacation protection covers up to $30,000 per guest for any emergency evacuations. Now, this is not one where they have to pay and then file. This is actually prepaid and coordinated by On Call International. So they would just, um, you know, at that time, certainly the thing to worry about would be their health, not their medical bills and not the cost of being airlifted. So it makes it much more seamless. The other situation that unfortunately happens um, occasionally is some people will pass away in a port of call or on the ship, and the cost of repatriating their remains can be pretty costly as well. Same scenario, this would be prepaid and coordinated by On Call International. So to me, this is one of the biggest reasons to purchase vacation protection. All of my family purchases it, mainly because of this reason, because I've scared them enough. The third part of it, and I know we've talked a good bit about this already, but the 24 seven worldwide assistance services that are provided. So there's a couple different lines that you can call while you're traveling. If you need help and you've lost your luggage, if you've lost your passport, if you needed to get what the weather updates are on in route to the cruise, if you need to know what health and safety advisories there are, there's a 24 seven hotline. While you're traveling, there's also medical assistance. So if you needed to find a local medical provider, you could reach out. If you needed a replacement for a prescription drugs or for your eyeglasses, you have that 24 seven hotline to reach out to. And then the emergency assistance, we just talked about this, um, certainly, um, they would cover any type of um, uh, medical evacuation or repatriation. They can also help with emergency medical payments. And if you happen to be hospitalized or your traveling companion is hospitalized, they can help with travel arrangements for family members in an emergency. So you really have this comprehensive package protecting your clients. Again, it's peace of mind to purchase. So let's talk a little bit about who qualifies. All right, who qualifies for Carnival's vacation protection? So U.S. travel agencies paying in U.S. dollars for the individuals that are eligible. So this is going to be eligible for guests that are living, whether they're residents or they're citizens in the United States and Canada, excluding Quebec, any of the U.S. territories like the Virgin Islands, American Samoa, as long as they have been living in the country for at least six months or longer, and they're either residents or they're citizens. Now, who's not covered would be people going, and those people, the Americans and the, the Canadians, would not be covered for Australian sailings. Um, Australian and New Zealanders, they also do not qualify for Australia sailings for our vacation protection. For those guests, we do recommend that they look at an appropriate international travel insurance. I mentioned U.S. territories, um, Puerto Rico, they are eligible to purchase Carnival vacation protection. However, they cannot do it through Carnival. They have to do it directly through Aon Affinity. And we can always provide that number to you where you can call and have guests enroll. So those are people who are, who do qualify for it. Who doesn't qualify? First of all, flamingos. Unfortunately, people who refuse to cruise, they don't qualify. Senor Manzana, I keep paying that. He doesn't qualify. 
and international guests. So any international guests who are cruising with us, we do recommend that they look into an international travel insurance plan because again, you wanna be able to protect your investment. And especially when you are cruising down in Australia, New Zealand, there are some ports that do require travel uh, insurance as well. So that's who qualifies and who doesn't qualify. Let's talk about the cost of the plan here. So the cost of the plan is going to be per person. Um, please know that you don't need to memorize this. Um, it is based on the cost of the cruise. This is subject to change. So again, don't memorize it. It will be available in GoCCL or when you call the call center to add vacation protection, but it ranges from $49 per person all the way over to 189 per person, a pretty minimal amount to protect their investment because again, you just never know what's going to happen. So I mentioned that it is based on the cost of the cruise. The cost of the cruise is considered their cruise fare and their non-commissionables combined. It does not include any air, any transfers, any packages they may have on there, but this would determine the cost of their vacation protection. So let's talk about enrolling it. When can you enroll in Carnival Vacation Protection? So when you're making a booking, you have that option, whether it's in GoCCL or through our contact center to automatically add Carnival's Vacation Protection to the booking. So what will happen is when you add it, if you make a booking, add it from the very beginning, it will stay on the booking all the way through final payment without any payment on it. Now, once you hit final payment, then it automatically drops off because the system doesn't see any monies covering the Carnival Vacation Protection. Um, when you're, you don't have it on a booking though, um, when can you add it? So again, if the client has not made final payment, you can add it at any time up until final payment. And, um, and again, it doesn't cancel off or it can ride all the way with no money until final payment. Now, if you have an existing booking and it's inside final payment, you have up to 14 days prior to the sailing. And we talked about this a little bit um, when we talked about cancel for any reason, but please keep in mind if you are purchasing and paying for Carnival Vacation Protection within final payment, it is not eligible for cancel for any reason. So it has to be added and purchased prior to final payment. Now for new bookings that are made within final payment, so this is a brand new booking, not an existing booking. So existing bookings, you can add up to 14 days prior. If it's a brand new booking, you can really make the booking and add that vacation protection all the way up until the day of departure. So these will be for guests who just want that additional protection while they are traveling. All right, a little bit more, let's talk about um, once it's added. So once it's added and paid for, it's activated. So that's one reason why you want to get it paid as soon as possible, even though it will sit on the booking all the way until final payment with no monies on it, but you want to pay it as soon as possible so it is activated. Now, if you're on a non-restricted fare code, that means it's fully refundable up until final payment. If it's not one of the non-refundable deposits, it's fully refundable up until final payment. We call that a non-restricted rate code. If it's outside of penalty, outside of that final penalty period, you can take it off and have it refunded. Now, if it's on a restricted fare code, these are your non-refundable deposits. If it's on a non-refundable deposit, then it cannot be taken off the booking once it's paid for. So keep those two scenarios in mind. We'll talk a little bit more about how Early Saver operates with the future cruise credits, but keep in mind if it's fully refundable, it's not a restricted rate code, you can cancel it even if it's paid for. If it's a non-refundable deposit, once it's paid for, it cannot be removed. Um, Another little note here though, let's say we have an irregular operation where the voyage is canceled, um, kind of like 2020 and 2021. Um, but if we have to cancel a sailing, then that uh, Carnival Vacation Protection becomes part of the future cruise credit. So we just roll that in if they choose the future cruise credit option, or if there's inclement weather and we have to cancel a cruise and issue a future cruise credit, we roll that Carnival Vacation Protection in there. And then I do want to note that once it is added, so I gave you the two scenarios when it can and can't be taken off, but guests do have a 10 day right to examine. So if they wanted to look over the terms and conditions and they decide it's not right for them, they do have 10 days to cancel it from the booking. If you do run into that scenario, you would just need to call our service desk and they would be able to help you remove it. All right, let's talk about some um, what type of cancellation protection. And I think we've touched on this already, but I'm going to go through it just a little bit more. So um, cancel for any reason. Let's talk about cancel for any reason. I think we've said this already, but the plan must be added and purchased prior to the final payment date for the guest to be eligible for cancel for any reason. Now, 
for the cancellation fee waiver program. That one is going to be um, where we're waiving the penalties for an eligible reason. For that type of coverage, the plan needs to be paid for before that cancellation fee comes into play. So basically that means you can't add it to your booking at the very beginning, not pay for it, and then say you wanna use it. So basically it has to be paid for to be able to cancel and get the cash refund. The other part of it, the cancel for any reason, you have to pay for it by final payment. Um, one thing I do want to mention, because this question comes up quite a bit, early saver bookings. So those non-refundable deposits, the ones that I touched on just a minute ago, those non-refundable deposits, I told you, you cannot remove the carnival vacation protection. So if they do have to cancel, um, technically it is it's not a full penalty because we do hold, we take away a $50 admin fee and then we hold the rest of the deposit in house as a future cruise credit for up to a year. So there's two different options. If they have to cancel their booking and they do have um, an early saver and they've added the vacation protection, they can either cancel, take the $50 admin fee, and then the rest of the deposit, along with what they paid for their vacation protection, stays in house as a future cruise credit for up to a year. That's option number one. Second option that they can take is if they have to cancel and they want to use their vacation protection, they can take the cost of the vacation protection, file a claim, and then if it's an eligible reason, get a refund for their deposit amount. So there's two different scenarios. In scenario number two, if they file a claim, they would lose the cost of the vacation protection, but potentially be able to get their full deposit back, no future cruise credit staying in-house. So I hope that that makes sense. It is a complicated product, um, but again, you know, I just want you to have a high level overview of what the program encompasses. So let's talk about the claim process. Um, Aon Affinity, as I mentioned, they're the ones who administer the program. We want to know as soon as possible. If someone has to cancel and they have an eligible reason, we need to know as soon as possible so we can document and start processing the, the claim. So as soon as you know you want to cancel the booking, you don't want those no-shows, because remember, no-shows are not going to be eligible for the reimbursement or for the 75% future cruise credit. So as soon as you know you cancel, you contact the program administrator, and that's at Aon Affinity. There is a 24-hour-a-day website. It's Travel Claim com or you can also call them they'll send you the appropriate form and something that needs to be fill out filled out by the treating doctor if it's a medical situation but again you want to reach out as soon as possible um, that emergency worldwide assistance the 24 7 there's a couple different ways to reach them whether it's through calling them or through emailing them um, faxing them not sure why you would want to fax them but there's all kinds of different ways to reach the worldwide emergency assistance and then the claim process itself. So let's talk about they're traveling and they've had something with their baggage or they've had a medical issue or they had a trip delay and they need that reimbursement. Remember, keep all receipts because that definitely helps filing the claims. So they would file the claim once they return home. Um, remember, if they are looking at baggage or if they're looking at medical, they would want to look at first their homeowner's insurance policy or their medical insurance policy first. Um, but then you file the claim, we send the form, and on average, it takes about three weeks for the claim to be reviewed and for a claim determination to be made. So again, about three weeks from when they return home to submitting all of the paperwork and the receipts to getting a determination. Please keep in mind, and I think we've talked about this already, but emergency evacuation and repatriation expenses, those are always prepaid through On Call International, so there would not be a claim process for those. So I wanted to give you my top 10 tips for selling Carnival's vacation protection. I don't know about you guys, but I thought this guy was pretty funny. This is definitely why you need medical insurance or vacation protection. So first off, always include Carnival vacation protection in your cruise quote. It's easy to do. If you're in GoCCL, you just click the little button. If you're calling our contact center, just ask them to add it. But it's easier for them to... Um, see it first and then decline it rather than trying to add it afterwards. So always give them that option up front, include it in your quote, and then if they want it taken off, we'll talk about that in just a moment here. Now, when you're presenting it, please provide factual, non-embellished reasons, not any scare tactics, to encourage the purchase. You don't want to talk about all these horrific situations and speculate too much, but, you know, I would just leave it at, you know, I know how you feel. Nobody likes to purchase travel insurance or vacation protection, 
but you never know what's going to happen. My clients who have purchased it in the past have been glad that they did because if you do have to cancel, standard penalties would apply. So just leave it very factual, do not embellish, and do not use scare tactics. Explain the benefits both before the cruise and during the cruise. I think we've talked quite a bit through those, whether it's the cancellation, waive, a cancellation fee waiver program or the assistance that they receive while they're traveling. So again, very high level. And then if they decide to decline it, please get it in writing. So get it in writing, whether it is through an email, a text, messenger, just something saying they are declining protection. Because I will tell you, people will come to you with the saddest story. And, you know, we all want to have a heart and be able to, to help them. But if they have declined the protection, you want to be able to come back and say, well, this is what I advised you. This is what I recommended. Also, again, you are not travel insurance experts, you are not insurance agents. So please avoid evaluating any type of coverage for their medical insurance that they currently have or their homeowner's coverage because you don't wanna be speculating too much. Again, we're not the experts, we're not the ones that are actually approving the claims. So do not avoid any of the coverage. Please feel free to refer them over to Aon Affinity if there are any questions. And again, Kind of going with number five, know what the plan includes, but do not get into specifics. Don't get into those what ifs, what if this, what if that. You don't want to get into that type of scenario. Recommend that they go ahead. Remember, you're putting it on their quote at the time you're making the booking. Recommend that they pay it at the time of deposit because that activates their coverage. Remember, if they have that um, pre-existing condition, they have to be stable and no changes within 60 days prior to purchasing. What happens if they don't purchase it at time of deposit and then something happens with their medical condition two weeks later? Then they would be excluded. So you want to purchase the vacation protection and put the money down as soon as possible, mainly because of that pre-existing condition exclusion. Also, you want them to purchase it as soon as possible. Maybe it's not at time of deposit, but you definitely want them to do it by final payment because otherwise they would not qualify for the cancel for any reason. Also, keep it on the booking. If they don't, if they don't decline it right off the bat and they don't want to pay it right off the bat, keep it on the booking. Gives them time to decide. That way, every time you're sending them a confirmation, it has it included. Um, it kind of gets them in the mindset that this is what their price point is. And then if they want to take it off, they can take it off or it just cancels at final payment if there's no money on it. And then finally, I don't think I can stress this enough, but if there are any pre-existing questions, please refer those to Aon Affinity. Um, please don't try to be the expert and try to advise because I think we can get ourselves into some hot water um, if we don't know all the ins and outs. So folks, a little more information if you wanted more vacation protection information. I did want to just touch very, very briefly. You may have seen on GoCCL under the marketing tools tab, there is a new flyer there. It's USTIA insurance information. So please know that this is not a program that is sponsored by Carnival, but something that we're happy to share with our travel partners. So this is the U.S. Travel Insurance Association. And there has been some new regulation where people selling travel insurance do have to be licensed. So they do have a program where you can go through, there's no cost to participate, but you can visit their website at www.ustiaregistry.org. So if you go to their site, you can get more information. And if you wanted even more information on Carnival's vacation protection, you can go to Carnival's Learn and Earn program on GoCCL. There's actually a, a module for vacation protection. It's actually a really great module and a really great refresher too if you didn't get enough information here. So folks, I hope the biggest takeaway today is you never know what to expect. You never know when life is gonna take a bite out of you. <laughs> so I hope you will encourage all of your clients to purchase vacation protection. Thank you all so much for all of your support. And remember, travel agents rock. Bye.